Byron once said that love for all living creatures is the noblest attribute of man. My personal story is about my cat, Daisy Mae. Daisy had died because of pneumonia, and it was very rough for me because she was like my best friend. A few days later, my mom and sister were coming home from cheer practice, and when they were turning into my neighborhood, they saw a dog laying down that looked like she had been hit by a car. Well, they brought her home, and I, fell, and I immediately fell in love with her. We named her Ellie, and this is Ellie when we had first found her. This is Ellie when we first found her, and this is her now. Ellie may have been scared, but she didn't know what she had to come. She had a home, she had a second chance, and she had a family. Animals have helped so many people through rough times. People who struggle with special needs have service animals to help them when they need it. Service animals are animals trained to perform tasks that assist pe disabled people. Service animals may also be referred to as assistant animals or helper animals. Also, people who have mental health issues have animals as emotional support animals. Emotional support animals are a companion animal that a medical professional says provides some health benefit for a person with an emotional disorder or a health condition. I have a friend named Lily and her sister is named Presley. Her sister Presley teaches at a special needs only school and takes her service dog Raven to school to help her students learn and focus better. At my school, there is a boy in sixth grade and his name is Jackson. Jackson brings his service dog Lola to school to help with his autism. I have another friend named Rayleigh and her cousin has a service animal because she is blind. Different animals are becoming service animals, emotional support animals, and guide animals. Miniature horses are becoming guide animals to help people get through their everyday life. I know this may sound a little crazy, but it's true. All animals have the same potential if they get the right training. Not only do you need help from animals, but animals also need you. There are so many animals that get abused, abandoned, and also killed. Animals don't deserve this at all. Don't you think they, get, they deserve to live a happy life? The point that I'm trying to get across is that we should all help animals the same way they help us. So how can you help animals? My name is Hannah Blankenship, and thank you for listening to my TED Talk.